Hello, and today you are looking at a 24 station Eichen 2 hoist anodized line. Uh, this line is manufactured in 2005. We will walk around and show you the, uh, the tanks and the configuration of the layout. Here is a, a remote control. We'll go through the control panel first here. Um, is all Allen Bradley. Uh, 480 volt, the entire machine is. There is a complete list of prints and schematics uh, that do come along with this machine. Obviously you can tell very good condition. The Eichen hoists are strap lift, very smooth. It's hard to see those in there a little bit, but you can see the, the straps in there. The festoon does run along the top, so if you notice the top of this superstructure uh, does not have the cross member that goes a, uh, across the top, which is an advantage for the height. So stations one and two here are the load and unload stations. There's the complete look at the superstructure. We'll start down here uh, with the dryer and I can walk down and show you the condition of the tanks. There is also a tank layout if you would like to follow around it does follow along. It does tell you the uh, material of the tanks as well as the process for what they were being used for. These tanks are very clean uh, in an excellent condition. The single station tank dimensions are 24 inch direction of travel. 84 inch front to back and 60 inches deep. This superstructure as you can see goes down to the floor, bolts right to the floor and then as it comes up here uh, right in the center sections of these it runs across and connects to the other side uh, of the superstructure there. Everything is bolt together uh, and in excellent condition. You can see the top rail rider configuration design and then on this this side you can actually see where they have the festoon cable uh, that runs along in the channel. Another stainless one There is ventilation, the ductwork I should say, there is no scrubber. The ductwork does pull out here into a centralized blower and then they have each of these drops that go right to the tanks to pull the fumes off of each side. As you can see all of these tanks are in excellent condition being 2005. There is the catwalk uh, along the one side of the, um, the machine here with two stages of heights for the, uh, the catwalk to stand on. A lot of the tanks do have air sparges in the bottom. This is what it looks like in between the tanks. So there's a common frame uh, that each tank so this line will slide out and reinstall in sections uh, which is a very nice option. Additional tanks and then we do get down here to the three anodized tanks. This is set up for type 2 anodized there are three 3,000 amp 24 volt rectifiers uh, that come along with this that we will show you in just a moment. Here is a shot of the second hoist. As you can see it's in excellent condition. Here we are along the back side of this line. The overall dimensions of this line are 
14, 11 and a half feet wide, 15 feet 9 inches tall from the floor to the top of the hoist, and 83 feet 8 inches long. Along the back side of the hoist here, or the line, I'm sorry, you can see there are three heat exchangers. Those were new uh, approximately two years ago. Here is the cabling that they were using for the rectifiers, uh, which are in a separate uh, building outside the wall here that we will go show you in just a moment. Uh, as you can see, all of the, uh, the pipe work on the back side of the line, as much of this as possible, will be saved and reused. Here is another look as I'll walk along the back side of this uh, line here. Here are the staging load unload carts that uh, also come along with the line. There are currently 27 of these flight bars uh, that are included, uh, which all of them have their own carts, uh, as well as these racks. And the racks you can see slide out for easy loading, unloading, and reinstall.